this is a little video about how I save money. So if you guys want to know how I do it on a low income, then please stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by my title it is how I save money whilst on a low income. Princess Belle is talking to the, the telly, she's awake and settled so I thought I'd quickly film this. Um, I'm sorry I'm in my pyjamas but I've just had a bath after doing all the cleaning um, and yes yeah, so I'm just going to stop rambling and I'm going to get straight into it. The first way I save money is I've got a savings account via my bank. So I put um, fives, tens, twenties, basically just transfers the money. Um, I have actually set up a direct debit to take tw uh, £20 a week out in there and then I do put extra money in um, whenever um, it's possible to. There is also a thing as cash ices, um, but I haven't got one of them, so I can't comment on that. But if that's something that you are interested in, then just kind of check it up yourself and just don't go for the first one, shop around. Um, the second thing that I do is um, a money box. It's got the thing on the bottom. I ordered one off eBay and I just got sent this wedding fund one, so I do apologise, but basically I put any notes, pound coins or 50s and 20s in here. Um, I can open it, but I, it's very rare that I actually go in here. It's only like towards when it's coming up to payday and I need like nappies or something, that's the only time I will ever touch any of the money. Um, I also usually have the tin which you need the tin opener to open but I haven't bought one of them in ages so because they haven't been I haven't been anyway to find them so I use kind of an old sweetie jar I just put um wrapping paper on I cut a hole in the lid and I've sell taped around it so I can't open this and as you can tell it's got twos ones fives tens in the I have sometimes checked 50s and 20s in you instead of the other one um but th again um I'll open it it's not a very full big tin so I'll probably op as soon as it gets full I will open it um come to put it into money bags um and then I'll start again and probably what I'll probably end up doing is changing the money and then putting it into this little container um they are other ways of saving i've spotted a few way every um every week you put in or every day you put in like one pence and go on and then by the time of december it is kind of like a certain amount of money that is really good that's one good way of doing it the other one is getting either the small medium or big coke bottles and they can fill i think it's 100 250 and 350 i think um, that's another good saving one. I don't drink Coke in bottles. I drink it in hands, so that's no good to me. Um, the other one that I really like, I like the look of, is basically you get an envelope and you select a certain note, like a five, a ten, or twenty. Just say a ten pound, a ten pound note. Every time you get a ten pound note, you put it into this envelope. That is a really good way. Um, I haven't started doing that, but I'm looking for kind of different ways of saving money um, and everything. I also do Park. Now, Park is a savings company, but with the savings, you buy gift vouchers, gift cards and stuff like that. That is really good for Christmas. What I basically be doing with my Park vouchers is what I did last year is um, you, you receive them in the October. So in the October, I will buy Christmas presents. I focus on the kids first, so I will buy the kids Christmas presents. Um, Tilly's birthday is a week before Christmas, so I will get Christmas presents for the three girls. I will also get Christmas uh, birthday presents for Tilly, stocking fillers, Christmas Eve boxes, um, and then when and then when the kids are done, I will then go on to getting the adults' presents. Um, if there's any gift vouchers left over, I either go to Iceland to do a big shop in Iceland using the gift vouchers, or I use the gift vouchers to buy stuff for Ruby for her birthday in April. So there's many different ways you can save different amounts um, and everything. Um, 
but that that is a really good way of getting kind of like Christmas out the way other ways you can save is the credit union um I've also got an account with credit union I had to put in a five pound a week uh with the credit union that is a good way you can get loans you can withdraw the money out any time so that is another fab way uh so like I said just type in on google uh, ways of saving money and there'd be a whole list of ideas and everything so that's kind of how I save and different ideas for savings as I just said I have got the credit union which I pay five pounds a week so it's 20 pounds a month it's nothing spectacular or anything like that but that's rainy day money or anything I know I can touch it if I need to, but I'd rather keep it there. So it's £20 a month for credit union. Um, park, I'd put away £40 a month. £40 to £50 a month to park. Um, on average, whenever I've got coppers or change my purse, I will put in a tin. So I can't really say, oh yeah, I put this a month in every week because I don't. It just depends what change I've got in my purse. With regards to pound coins and notes, after all my bills paid, after all the food shopping's done, after I've got everything for the children, whatever's left, I will put away. So some weeks, some weeks, some weeks I'm only left with five pounds, other weeks I'm left with 30. So if I only got five pounds, that'll go in the tin. If I've got 30, I will, I will, I will keep 20 pounds on me and I'll put 10 away. And if at the end, after, before I get paid next, if that comes that I've got I haven't used that £20, I will put that away, if that makes sense. But all in all, with everything that I do, I roughly try and save about £100 a month with various techniques and various different things. It might be less, it might even be more, it just, it just depends on circumstances, situations and different stuff like that. So guys, I hope that helped you and give you different ideas on how to save up with kind of low income. If you guys got any interesting ways and in, or how you save money, then leave it down below in the comments box because I love reading different people's ideas. And if I if them ideas can suit me, then I will I will use them. I'm always open to different ways of saving money not just for me for my for my children as well there was one thing i didn't mention i have got a savings account for ruby and tilly they've got um a joint bank account i haven't opened a joint uh, account for bal yet but what i was thinking of doing is just putting the, the bank the savings account for all three kids and it will be split equally when i go so anyway but if you guys enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you guys are notified every time i upload a video and i will see you guys soon bye